Hello, today we're going to be talking about figurative language and we're going to discuss how to figure it out. There are two different types of language, the first being figurative and the second being literal language. Literal language means um, when something is said literally the words function exactly as defined. For example, the car is blue. They are telling us that the car is literally blue. He caught the football, which is exactly what he did. When talking about figurative language, we're discussing figuratively what the person is trying to portray. So figuratively means that we actually have to figure out what it means that the author is trying to tell us. I've got your back. If we took this literally, that would mean someone grabbed our back, but that's not what the author means. So we have to try and determine what I've got your back means. You're a doll. A person cannot be a doll, so we again have to try and figure out what that statement means. Both of these statements are figures of speech. The first type of figurative language is a simile. A comparison of two things using like or as. Here are a few examples. The metal twisted like a ribbon. She is as sweet as candy. Important. Using like or as doesn't make a simile. A comparison must be made for it to be a simile. For example, I like pizza is not a simile. We all know that I like pizza, but that's not comparing one thing to another. This would be an example of a simile. The moon is like a pizza. In this statement, you're comparing the moon to a pizza, so it is a simile. The next type of figurative language is a metaphor. Two things are compared without using like or as. Some examples. All the world is a stage. Men are dogs, which truly they're not, but that's a metaphor comparing the two. She has a stone heart. The third type of figurative language is personification. Giving human traits to objects or ideas. Examples, the sunlight danced. Water on the lake shivers. The streets are calling me. Clearly, the sunlight, water, and streets cannot do these things. This is an example of personification. The next type of figurative language is hyperbole, which is exaggerating to show strong feeling or effect. Here are some examples. I will love you forever. My house is a million miles from here. She'd kill me. Those are all examples of hyperboles or over-exaggerations. The next type of figurative language is an understatement, an expression with less strength than expected, the opposite of a hyperbole. I'll be there in one second. Now, usually when people say this, it takes them more than one second to get there, so that would be an example of an understatement. This won't hurt a bit. Usually the doctor tells us this right as he's getting to jab a shot into our arm, and it hurts. All right, so here is what I would like you to do next. Go ahead and get out a sheet of paper. On the sheet of paper, I will put um, an example of figurative language onto the board. I want you to write down the number and then whether it is a simile, metaphor, personification, hyperbole, or understatement. You can use your notes to answer the questions. Number one, he drew a line as straight as an arrow. Please write down now what type of figurative language this is. Number two, Knowledge is a kingdom, and all who learn are kings and queens. What type of figurative language is this?
Number three, can I see you for a second? Number four, the sun was beating down on me. Number five, a flag wags like a fish hook there in the sky. Number six, I'd rather take baths with a man-eating shark or a wrestling lion alone in the dark, eat spinach and liver, pet 10 porcupines, and tackle the homework my teacher assigns. Number seven, ravenous and savage from its long polar journey, the north wind is searching for food. Number eight, the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Number nine, can I have one of your chips? And number 10, I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, wailing and swelling I bear in the tide, leaving behind nights of terror and fear I rise. Okay, if you need more time, go ahead and pause or rewind to go back to the ones that I, I went too quickly through. Next, once you're finished, go ahead and check your answers. Here are the answers to one through 10. Number one was a simile. Number two was a metaphor. Number three was an understatement. Number four was personification. Number five was simile. Number six, hyperbole. Seven, personification. Eight, metaphor. Nine, understatement. And ten, metaphor. Don't forget to do your summary and ask two higher order thinking questions at the end of your notes before you complete them. Thank you for watching and hopefully now you can figure out figurative language.